Hello all my friends. I hope you're having an outstanding, fabulous day. Today in Maryland, it's in the low 50s, finally. And uh, just got it on my long sleeve orange safety search, sir, blah, 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 orange safety shirt, which is thin, uh, but it, it's enough for this Eskimo body I got. And I got shorts on, and look how beautiful it is. And it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I was like, I'm gonna try to get a ride in. I already did a bunch of work, I already gone to the gym. Got our flag moving a little bit. It's still a little too chilly. Still a little too chilly for a t-shirt. Uh, but we're gonna go take a ride through Charlestown, which we always have to do to leave, down through Northeast, which is the other city that we mostly have to leave. We're gonna go somewhere. We're gonna go to the ranger station today. We're going to go to the ranger station and we're going to go through the woods up to the old ranger tower high up, which I guess if you were enterprising, you could climb, but mm, I don't do that. So we're going to put the address in our app, get the directions, even though we know where we're going because we've been there before and uh, start cruising on this nice day before the rain comes tomorrow. All right, just testing it. Took about five minutes for the darn GoPro. Don't say anything, Gary. To connect and we put the directions in our navigation app and we have that ready to go telling us where to go and turn off our lights why were they even on we're ready it's only going to be maybe a 15 16 mile ride unless i add extra but you can see it's already starting to cloud up so it was beautiful much even even more beautiful earlier so we're gonna pick it up as we get in the northeast so you're not bored all right we're coming in the northeast i think we hit 50 miles an hour going down one of the hills Perfect timing. It's not bad in the temperature. It's not bad in the sun. If you're only going about 10, 12 miles an hour. Turn it down to three. It's when you go faster that it gets cold. And we're almost out of town already. It don't take long. It's a small little town for Main Street. All right, now we're on a stretch to the ranger station. There's a biker. Oh, it's a spandex biker. I'm gonna say hi. I hope he's nice. We're gonna take a detour and ride around the old ball fields where my children used to play.
just because Concession stand straight ahead. Now here's a little tip for those who don't know, although if you had kids you know, those yellow things right here, right here. In the summer, freaking wasps make nest in there. So when you lean on them, if you're unlucky enough to lean where there's a nest, the freaking sting you. Learn that. OJT. On the job training. Ah, they're getting ready for baseball season. They're doing work on the stuff, getting all ready. Building stuff. I used to shoot model rockets off here with my children too. We used to shoot them off up here at this top field. And hell, depending on the wind, they'd go all the way over here into the marina on the other side. A couple of times we got them out of people's boats. My son's like, oh, we're gonna get in trouble. I'm like, ah, eh, we're getting rockets. We're not stealing anything. We're gonna go back out. We're not gonna to listen to the GPS. We don't need to go that way. Yes, my children played baseball and softball here. And there's another marina. You know, it's funny. Uh, I'm 59, knocking on 60. I never, I just never thought I'd be I never thought I'd be old. I never comprehended it. Um, even when I bought my Corvette, people were like, midlife crisis. I wasn't thinking midlife crisis. I was like, I always wanted a Corvette since I was a little kid. I told you the Corvette story. And, uh, but now I'm knocking on 60, even though I just turned 59. Uh, and I did lose all that weight, 125 or so pounds. I'm gonna get another 10, 15 pounds off. I'm not as scared about getting old. Now that I found e-biking. It's the most bizarre, incredible thing. Which is why I preach. Which is why I started this YouTube channel. I do real estate tips and legal tips, but I do most of my videos on biking and bike stuff. And that's where I get most of my likes. And that's where most of my subscribers are from. And uh, this, this, uh, now look at that old timer there on a regular bike. He's doing pretty darn good. Uh, that's the guy we passed. The e-biking is just like, I don't know. I'm not as concerned about getting old and tired now. It's bizarre. But like I said, that's why I preach it. All right, we're gonna be passing Pop here in a second, as soon as we get back out on the road. This is where my children play baseball, softball. Actually, I got some business from uh, the different parents over the years. All right. Got a car behind us. I don't wanna scare him. Great job. He's kicking butt. All right, we're getting there. Cruise control's on. We're almost to our destination. Power man.
in a few weeks it'll be t-shirt shorts it'll be in the 60s solid 60s there's the road but we're gonna we're gonna cheat we're gonna go up here we'll see if the rangers give us a hard time here we are Black Hill Ranger Station. Nobody ever comes here hunting. How you doing? I'm all right, thank you. Enjoying the spring weather, finally. And this is a trail to the Ranger Tower, the old tower. Uh, we might not get through. We're gonna have to push it around. A skilled driver would make that. Without having to foot it. Oh, it's nice in the woods. We're just gonna go PAS1 and enjoy it. This goat can go anywhere. Ah, we might have to do PSA too. There's turkeys and deer, but I've never seen anybody hunting in here. Oh, I should have been taking pictures for my relive. I guess we're gonna start that up here. A little bumpy, but, but uh, pretty comfortable with the uh, suspension. I love this bike. I just would never do this. Even if, uh, I just would never do this with my regular mountain bike anymore. Yes, 59, 69, 79, 89 rod regular bikes, but I need two new knees and I just, I would never be able to go this distance. Whoa, Billy Goat. Got some mud. Private property off to the left. I tell you, if I get a flat back here, what a pain in the butt it will be. Push it out. At least I got enough daylight to do it, and a, and and the strength and and uh, cardio. Oh, they bushwhacked this all. 
They bush hogged us all. Not bushwhack, bush hog. Like a giant beaver came through here. Well, I don't want to fall down if things are like punji sticks. Oh, daddy-o. Yeah, I'm not graceful. Somebody's been back here. The bike, here's a trail, track. Had to put it in the past three. Up over the log. We still getting it. Putting in the past four to break through. Break on through to the other side. A skilled rider would have just went boom, 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 boom. I'm not skilled. Almost to the tower. Holy cow, that's a steep hill. Let's see if she's gonna do it. That's a real fucking whoop, we gotta leave that out. That's a real steep hill. I hope we can come down it without crashing. Come on, Betty. Whoa. Holy cow, this is freaking steep. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. Whoa, Billy Goat. I'm gonna have to lean forward. Let me give you a better shot of what the hill is. Yeah. Yeah, we're leaning forward to go to make it. Whoa. Come on, baby. I almost made it. I'll be damned. Whew, shit. Now, just to give you an idea, we just came up a pretty freaking steep hill. It's going to be a good video as long as I don't screw it up. Made it to the top. Nice. I'm sure people come up here and climb in there. 
There's the tower. I'm sure I'm gonna crash going down that hill. Beautiful. There's that tower. It's pretty tall. As you can see, artists have been here in the past. And it's funny, you just can't appreciate this bike with this direct, direct drive motor. Top speed type bike, not known for a strong torque. You can't even picture how much elevation we just came up. We just came up a big darn hill. Uh, and you saw she was, uh, but she made it. Uh, now Roxy would have come up at, with a good drive, good rider. Roxy would have come up at easier and better all wheel drive. And Roxy supposedly has 200 Newton meters of torque. So Roxy would have been able to do it. I know Roxy could have with a good driver. This bike, uh, I could do because I slowed the ground. I could keep my feet down when it's going through the ditches and over the log, so I didn't crash. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go down and hopefully we're not gonna crash. There's a better shot of the tower. Nice. All right, now we're gonna try to go down without crashing and dying. Oh, the good thing is, I guess, I guess it's a good thing. I'm doing an experiment with my vascular surgeon doctors and went for an ultrasound test with my veins and stuff. And uh, doctor's like, you know, he's not opposed to me coming off the medicine for a couple weeks and then retesting to see if uh, there's any clots for him. And if not, to um stay off the medicine altogether ouch so i've been off the medicine now for a couple weeks i mean a couple weeks yeah uh like two three days and so if i crash i will definitely not bleed to death oh my god this is steep see a good rider would be rolling Daddy-o. I can tell you people, you can't even picture. This is freaking steep. Got my camera tilted probably too low. Easier to go up, I think, than to go down. Obviously, I don't even need to give it any gas, and I'm still going. Like if I wasn't riding the brakes, pumping the brakes, yeah, this would be a, this would probably be a crash video. I'm just gonna go down through the center of trench this time. pretty steep all right I will say this normally I don't care what you leave in the comments don't be making no comments about me sucking as a uh, rider look I'm not even in the gas now I'm going pretty good uh, 
sucking as a rider and uh, not going fast enough. Oh, we still got, oh. whoa, we still got stuff to go over. Watch, I'll crash on this stuff, it's easier. I hope this demonstrates to people uh, that Betty, Go Power Bikes, has got freaking get up and go ability. Now yeah, we're down, we're down to the has got get up and go, get up and go ability. We just went up a super steep freaking hill. Look at my Relive app, it'll show you the elevation. This is the best 45 plus mile an hour bike you can get for the money. You've seen some of my other videos, you've seen the shocks work. I'm 260 pounds, you've seen the speed. You've seen me go over down trees and I suck. I'm not a circus clown, I'm not coordinated. This is the deal. This is the bike. This is the brand. And if you like the bikes and if you like me and you wanna buy a bike, use my affiliate link. The affiliate link benefits the channel. Who is the channel? The channel is Bruce. Uh, but it doesn't cost you anything and you save 10%. Uh, which is not chump change. Um, and uh, I'm doing enough videos to demonstrate that uh, the people who have listened to me have bought bikes, they are, n they are not going to be disappointed. And the bikes that they're going to get are going to be a little bit uh, better than mine because it's going to have a louder horn and the blinkers and stuff. The power is going to be the same. Uh, tire is going to be a little smaller, but uh, Bryson, the owner, the owner of Go Power Bikes, he pays attention to all the comments. When this bike came, the loose controller was already fixed. The better controller was already here. Uh, he did a couple other things that I didn't even mention that people were complaining about. Oh, cable management. The cable management was outstanding. Uh, so Bryson is an owner who's listening to what people say and reacting accordingly in a positive manner. You cannot say one bad thing about Bryson Goodman or this company. Is the bike perfect? I already told you it's not. I already told you nothing in life is perfect. Uh, is it a steal for the price? I already told you it was and it is. Do I love this bike? Uh, yes. As of today, we have 241 miles on it. We are gonna be, I'm gonna probably, it's so nice out. I'm probably gonna just ride and ride today. Might visit some friends at my, there's an auto shop in Northeast. We're, we're gonna have at least 255, maybe 265 by the end of the day. More mileage than I put on Roxy, uh, in such a short time. And and like I said, I, I Roxy could do this, but would I take Roxy here? No. Roxy's paint is crisp, it's Ferrari, it's crystal metallic flake. The welds are perfect, the paint is perfect. Roxy is killer gorgeous. She's just too nice to get dirty and muddy intentionally, even though she's built for, she's built for all-wheel drive. She's built for going everywhere. She's built for hunting. She's built for fishing. She's built for camping. She's built for off-roading. People who would be offended by that. Uh, Betty is built for... Give some gas to go through the mud. Boom! Oh. Betty is built to do everything, apparently.
out to the beginning. I love Betty. I love this bike. Uh, the other thing, uh, if you're going to do this kind of riding in particular, I don't want to jinx myself. Put flat out in your tires. We've gone about 10 miles and obviously, the, uh, well, you saw the speeds we've been going. Um, if you watch it relive out, you'll see the speeds. We haven't even put a dimple in the batteries. If you want a Betty or a Wilma, or a Roxanne, or Steve. I don't know if Steve would work for a bike, but it could. Uh, use my link, save 10%, doesn't cost you anything. And uh, if you've been paying attention to the Facebook pages and posts, you know if people ask me a question or ask me to do something, if I can physically do it, I will and I answer your questions, and I've gone to Bryson to get answers for questions. So it's not like if you use my affiliate link and buy something, you're never gonna have communication with me again. Kind of just like real estate or legal stuff. I have no problem. I'm putting my name, so to speak, on this bike. So brand, so I have no problem helping you all. Which is probably stupid because most uh, most YouTubers with affiliate links and all, they don't do any of that stuff. But I'm not a freaking YouTuber for anything other than trying to help people and enjoying life. Not feeling 59. Not feeling old. I could go straight. Should I go straight? and go right out. I wanted to get a picture, I wanted to get a photo of the uh, ranger station. We're gonna go out this way and then we're gonna circle back around. We're gonna get a picture for the relive app. They bush hogged all this too. Well, we might make it through. Yeah, we're gonna make it. That's the one thing about this bike that Roxy is not. Oh, we might not make it. We're gonna make it over this these stumps, I guarantee you that. Ugh, ugh. Ugh. Is that um that's just fresh. There we go. We're gonna ride right over top it. It's a little one, but still. Whoa! Billy goat, Billy goat, yum, yum, yum. Billy goat, Billy goat. That was in pass two. Now, we are gonna have to duck, otherwise we're gonna eat a punji stick in the back of the neck. We made it, my friends. Wouldn't it be funny if I crashed at the last freaking obstacle? <sighs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. The hill up the road. Oh, oh shoot, I lost a shoelace.
There's a man speeding. A woman speeding. This is gonna be our picture. This is from my youth. We're gonna go see my friend Jeff who owns JL Automotive. It's a nice day. Can't wait till it's a little bit warmer and nicer. And uh, Thursday I got a settlement, Lord willing. Out on Route 40, Danger Road. It's almost rush hour. We're gonna be headed back before rush hour today. Don't hit us. Here we are, my friend Jeff. I might have to turn it off. I don't know. <sighs> Actually, I will turn it off. Oh, it stinks. My GoPro's acting stupid. And we had to stop because somebody went by and shot us with water in the face from their washers. So, we're already in Northeast. We're on our way home. And actually, it's 3.40. We're just gonna go home. Uh, and I'm gonna do some work. Got some work to do for a client, friend. And I'm going to uh, download everything from the disk, little chip or whatever in the GoPro. Maybe edit it. We had a nice day, 250 miles. I thought we were going to get 260. Probably going to get another five. Almost back to the ET hut. <laughs> Almost back to the ET hut. We are stopping for the school bus and we are almost to the ET hut. Hi guys. It's getting chillier anyway. Oh, it's bad luck not to go to the end of the court. Bum boom, ba boom. Another trip, 253.6 miles. 
I love this bike. I love Betty. I gotta tell you, oh, I think the uh, the factory seat's more comfortable than the seat I made. I'm not a Tapia seat maker. All right, my friends, that's that for the ride. I hope you enjoyed that ride up to the ranger station. I hope you enjoyed and appreciated how steep that hill was. Because you saw me babying it going down because I'm not a circus clown. So I love Betty. I told you before. I'm telling you now, 253 whatever miles. Best value 45 plus mile an hour bike that can do top speed, hills, road, trails, over trees, over junk, through the things, better rider, even more capable. All right, uh, if you have not, smash the subscribe. Click on the like and click on the bell. See ya, I love y'all.